The first form of play is solitary play. The child plays alone with toys that are different from those chosen by other children in the area. Solitary play begins in infancy and is common in toddlers because of their limited social, cognitive and physical skills. However, it is important for all age groups to have some time to play by themselves. Next, you have parallel play. This is usually associated with toddlers, although it happens in any age group. Children play side by side with similar toys, but there is a lack of group involvement. Associative play is the next form of play. This involves a group of children who have similar goals. Children in associated play do not set rules, and although they all want to be playing with the same types of toys and may even trade toys, there is no formal organization. Associative play begins during toddlerhood and extends through preschool age. There is also cooperative play. This type of play begins in the late preschool period. The play is organized by group goals. There is at least one leader and children are definitely or in or out the group. The final type of play is onlooker play. This is present when the child watches other playing. Although the child may ask questions of the players, there is no effort to join the play. This type of play usually starts during toddler years, but can take place at any age.